The higher self is the embodiment of truth. The lower self is truth reversed, so is falsehood manifest. The higher self is justice, mercy, love, and right. The lower self is what the higher self is not. So the lower self is not justice, it's not mercy, it's not love, and it's not right. The lower self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. The higher self is the mother of the virtues and the harmonies of life. The lower self is rich in promises, but poor in blessedness and peace. It offers pleasure, joy, and satisfying gain, but gives unrest, misery, and death. So I'll correct myself. The lower self breeds hatred, it breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. Key 13. It gives men apples that are lovely to the eye and pleasant to the smell. Their cores are full of bitterness and gall. If you would ask me what to study, I would say yourselves, all right? And when you well have studied them and when would ask me what to study next, pardon yourself, and then would ask me what to study next, I would reply yourselves. Islam. All right? Islam. So, he who knows his lower self knows the illusions of the world, knows of the things that pass away, and he who knows his higher self know a lot, knows well the things that cannot pass away, all right? So your higher self, if you know your knowledge of your higher self is knowledge of Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you'll hear, oh yeah, I know God, I have a relationship with God, or I have a relationship with, you know, Allah. Okay, so you have a knowledge of your higher and your lower self, because if you, when you have knowledge of both of them, if you have a lot of knowledge of your lower self, that will help you to live in your higher self and be one with a lot. All right, because when you know your lower self, you know the illusions of the world. You know that the desires, the um, wants, so-called needs, all of these are illusions. All right, higher self does not pass away. All right. Lower self is falsehood and it passes away. So, that's why we're here in the Moore Science Temple. Know ourself, know our know ourselves. All right, Elihu says, I was if you would ask me what to study, I would say yourselves. Alright? It's plural. It's not. Okay? He's not, you know, he's talking to a group of people, but he's really talking to each individual person, telling them to know their selves, because each of them has two selves. Indeed. All right, so I would like to, on this, while we're still on this knowledge piece, draw from the book of uh, Hosea in the uh, Holy Bible, Piscean text. All right, and. That will be Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh, I'll start with verse 1, so we'll lead into verse 6. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Alright? So... There's a controversy because the children of Israel here have no knowledge of the Most High. They have no knowledge of Allah in the land. All right? No knowledge. So, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing, so they're living in the lower self, and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away, 
yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet shall the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Islam. because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So, the prophet tells us to know thyself and thy father thy Allah. All right? Here in uh, Hosea, the prophet Hosea is telling the Israelites that they have a controversy with the great God Allah because there's no knowledge of Allah in the land. All right? So, just like in the time of the Israelites, the same is today with our people. They have no knowledge of Allah in the land. They have no knowledge of the higher self. They have no, they have no knowledge of the selves. They have no knowledge of their two selves. They have no knowledge of the higher self and their lower self. Wow. All right? They have no knowledge of, because to have knowledge, if you know thyself, you would know thy father God Allah, if you know yourself. So this is why, why the prophet, and this is why Ilihu says, um, if you would ask me what to study, I would say yourselves. And when you have well studied them, and then would ask me what to study next, I would reply yourselves. Because, you know, like the prophet Hosea here says, he says, you, you perish for lack of knowledge. And, and that is in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, where he says, you perish for lack of knowledge. Uh, there's one more... There's one more scripture from the Piscean text that I'd like to uh, I'd like to look at, and that's Job uh, chapter 36, and uh, it's around verse 12. But here, um, here again, here's a, here, here's someone by the name of Elihu here, mm -hmm. all right, <laughs> and and he's and he's talking, he, you know, he's talking to Job, and he's talking about, um, he, he's talking about Allah is just. All right, and we know what the five highest principles known to man: love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. All right, he talks about how Allah is just. All right, so what does he say in verse twelve? But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. All right, so knowledge is very important to our people. Knowledge is very important to the Moorish Americans. All right, Moorish Science Temple, man, know thyself. Without knowledge of thyself, you will perish. That's right. All right, again, the prophet tells us, the prophet began to, he, he, the job of the Moorish Americans or the Moorish Science Temple of America, the purpose of the Moorish Science Temple of America is for the uplifting of fallen humanity. That's right. All right. The prophet began to uplift the Moorish Americans by teaching them to be themselves. All right. So, are there any questions? The point of all this is to get our people out of the Negro black color status. All right. There is no knowledge of the higher self. No knowledge of selves. Yes, sir. Islam, my wife, giving the most high praise to Allah and the highest honor to the divine prophet, Dwali. Amen. Amen. Islam. Yeah. Um, so, from what I can see, it looks like you. Uh, I'm just trying to draw the um, the build, if you will. Okay. It looks like you broke down the meaning or or the general uh, purpose behind behind the the more Chinese temple and what that meant and what that entailed. And then went into, I see, the, the, the two selves, so it could be man know thyself, um, being the higher self and the lower self. Mm -hmm. And then you, you further delineate what the lower self was uh, between in Negro, black, Negro and black. Indeed, I mean, some would say that that is the shadow of the lower self. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know the lower uh, self, the that. lower self breeds all those, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. We know the lower self breeds, uh -huh. Um, but Negro, black, and colored. Ah, uh, 
Yeah. That's that's not our how I are our lower self. Yes, no. <laughs> and, We're and prophet we, taught that we are not Negroes. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow.